Right, guys. So I don't know if any other reactor has this name, but I want to start like something like a Marshall, a Marshall Mathers Monday. I think that will be an appropriate name. Uh, if any uh, anyone already has that, I do apologize. Uh, maybe we can share. <laughs> it's not my intention to steal names, but maybe uh, let's do a Marshall Mathers Monday, man. I, I think that uh, just I need my weekly dose of Eminem, bro. I mean, come on. Now we're gonna be focusing more on relapse. Uh, there's only a handful of songs I've done from from Relapse, and it's been a while since I've listened to the album as a whole. Uh, so this will be a nice refresher for me. Today, we're going to be checking out Bagpipes from Baghdad. And, uh, you know, Marshall's uh, fan base is, is so huge that you'll always, you know, and, and I'm just keeping it real. If you do Eminem reactions, you'll always have an audience. But, you know, I do it because I love his music, and I want to share my passion with you guys, right? Um, so we're going to check this out together. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. Please consider subscribing and leaving uh, your comment down below. You're leaving your suggestions down below. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in channel merchandise, the link for that is down below in the description. Phone covers, hoodies, and tees uh, available. But <laughs> let's get to it. Relapse was a crazy era. <laughs> Fucking great, man. Okay, let me see. How can I begin? Man, I forgot how thick the accent was. Oh, damn. Locked in Mariah's wine cellar. All I had for lunch was red wine, more bread wine, and Captain Crunch. Red wine for breakfast and for brunch. And a soap. Okay, right. So, Mariah Carey did pledge does have some problems with alcohol she did have in the past especially be falling red wine more bread wine and captain crush red wine for breakfast and for brunch and to soak it up and in between snack crackers to munch mariah what's ever happened to us red wine for breakfast breakfast and for brunch and to soak it up a snack in between crackers crackers literally soaks up wine like bread soaks up wine but to soak to to, to basically wrap it all up and in between snackers, crackers to munch. Come on, man. And to soak it up and in between snack crackers to munch. Mariah, what's ever happened to us? Why did we have to break up? All I asked for was a glass of punch. You see, I never really asked for much. Oh. I can't imagine what's going through your mind. That yeah. such a nasty break up with that Latin hunk. Luis Miguel, Nick Cannon, but the back the fuck up. I'm not playing. I want to back your pump. This is Hello Kitty bed spread satin funk. Mixed with Egyptian with a little rap and punk zap. Okay, we, we all know about the little little feud M had with, with Nick Cannon, which was the funniest, it was the funniest shit ever, man. I literally, the warning, that song that M made, that was the funniest era of Eminem ever, literally. I mean, was it even, I wouldn't even call it a beef, it's like more of a feud, and I mean, all of Nick Cannon's response, Nick Cannon responses were <sighs> subpar to say the least. Captain Funk mixed with Egyptian with a little rap and punk zap and Eric Clapton. Zap and Eric Clapton, Shaft brings an ab a crunk. Man, the syllable game is good. I, I I will continue saying it. His syllable game is is un. Dracula. Ah. Oh Lord, this is this should have been titled Nick Cannon and Mariah carried this. I think this literally is how we recorded that. Yeah, yeah probably. Yep. Facts. You could be a permanent fixture in my lyrical mixture. We we see that till this day. We're taking shots at Benzino, Jaru, Iggy Azalea, Mariah, MGK. Right? He never stops. He literally never lets it go. Like a man, man, a you can be a permanent fixture in my 
lyrical mixture. I'm the miracle whip, trickster. My signature sound when the tuba lip sticks around. I'm bound to put the dawn in an instant. Wow, man, what an ensemble, what an assortment of pharma. Suticles is beautiful, build us to my palm. You know, and this is the magic, right? Sound, surround, bound. All of the internal rhymes keep. People tend to they look at the outer rhymes, right? Uh, oh, that's dope. But they forget, you know, all of this. Uh, what is it? Assonance. I think it's called assonance. But anyway, the sound, the internal rhyme schemes are what makes him stand out. What's an ensemble? What the I get a little bit dirty about the technical aspects of rap, so bear with me. Sticks around. I'm bound to put the dawn in an instant. Wow, man! What's an ensemble? What's an assortment of pharma? Suticles is beautiful. Build us to my palm. Cuticles get residue just from touching the bottle. Never knew I could remind me so much of my mama. I cut you like gum. The yep. size of a sword, boy, I'm like the fucking Red Sonja Get it stuck in your cornea Like the fucking Red Sonja? The size of a sword, boy, I pull a butchery knife on you The size of a sword, boy, I'm like the fucking Red Sonja Sonja, what is that referencing exactly, if someone knows? At first I thought, ironically, it was Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat has a character called Sonja but I, And each character, like, ha has a weapon I don't know if that's referencing that That may be a reach, but if anyone Please do let me know in the comment section. Notice nice, no how Sonia, Konya, how he how he bent so Sonia, but it's it Sonia, Konya. It's just amazing, man. Ah, This literally is, it to me, is pretty much Eminem's most, I would say, his most creative, his most unique album. I mean, each album is unique, don't get me wrong, but this is of a level of creative at the time when i rhyme while blowing up my bag pipes from baghdad somebody turn the vacancy sign on cuz i'm gone blowing up my bag pipes from baghdad i'm from the streets and back like a mad man, man holding a glad bag in the bed with two brain dead lesbian vegetables i bet you they become heterosexual <laughs> nothing will stop me from molesting you titty fucking you to your breast nipple flesh tickles my testicles is what they said to the two conjoined twins how's it going girlfriends that just gets more vile as you go on. But I'm gonna run it back, just for the rhyme scheme. In the bed. In the bed with two brain dead lesbian vegetables. I bet you they become heterosexual. Nothing will stop me from molesting you. Titty fucking you to your breast. Nipple flesh tickles my testicles. Is what they said to the two conjoined twins. Ah. How's it going, girlfriends? You need a boyfriend? You need some ointment? Just set up an appointment. Who's gonna see the doctor first? We'll do a coin flip. I just got my one gear sobriety coin chip. When the bed gets yeah. You shouldn't have any trouble rubbing groins with each other, especially when you're joined at the hip. I'm joined twins rubbing the hip at the... Come on, Em, stop it, bro. Baby, you shouldn't have any trouble rubbing groins with each other, especially when you're joined at the hip. I'm going to get the needle and thread from the sewing kit. In attempt to separate them and stitch them back at the loin shit. Oh. You're the little boy with the chocolate chips, a hoy chip. Cookie, looky, even took me a pot All of right. <laughs> Good lord. What's going through my mind? Have the time when I rhyme while blowing up my bagpipes from Baghdad. Somebody turn the vacancy sign on, cause I'm gone blowing up my bagpipes from Baghdad. I'm from the streets and act like a madman holding a glad bag. This was literally okay. I think it's just the, the outro here. Yeah, pretty much the outro, right? So, um, I mean, what is there to say? This is this was M's kind of horrorcore based album. It, it it's shock value and insane rhyme schemes is basically what relapse was. But you know, on the other hand, on refill you have like you have songs like Forever, which is more, which is kind of deviates from the whole theme. Um, but let me know, let me know what you thought about relapse. If you had to give me a top five list of M's albums, right, including all of his new ones. Please leave that list for me down below. 
Um, but I personally have relapsed my top five. I don't know about you, but let me know in the comment section. I'll be seeing you next time.